scientists estimate that there are more SARS-CoV-2 virus particles on Earth than there are stars in the sky. Breaking news. The first death from coronavirus here in the United States. President Trump warning Americans not to panic. We started tracking the news from China early on. And what concerned me is that the asymptomatic phase rendered our infection control protocols ineffective. I've been a nurse too long and I know that sound. She cannot breathe. The World Health Organization declaring the outbreak a global pandemic. Here we are, it's March 26. The U.S. has the highest number of COVID patients in the world. As a medical director, my primary concern is keeping the doctors and nurses infection free. Because if one of them goes down, that affects hundreds of patients. Mr. Child, go on and begin. After I was diagnosed with the pulmonary embolism, I started coughing up blood every few hours. In my own feverish mind, I figured I had still about a 30% chance to live. The US government's failure to execute a coherent strategy is a reason why we see no end in sight to this pandemic. As we come on the air tonight, more than 200,000 people in the US have now been killed by the virus. 200,000 lives lost, 200,000 stories left unfinished. Humanity will survive this pandemic. It's just a question of the extent of death and suffering we will experience in order to get there.